I believe that the most accurate method of accounting for your overhead expenses is as a rate per hour. TurboBid has two methods of entering a rate per hour. You can either use our proprietary overhead calculator or you can enter in your own custom value. To access our calculator, you simply want to click the open link. The value displayed in this section from calculator will always reflect the current value in your calculator. So if you select to use the value from your calculator, anytime that you revise the values in the calculator, whether you're adding additional employees, laying off employees, if you're incurring additional overhead expenses, regardless, that value will automatically be revised to show you the current calculator value. Let's open up the calculator. Now in the calculator at the bottom of the screen you will always see the monthly overhead cost, the monthly job site hours, and those are the hours that you're saying you're going to have your field employees working on job sites, and then it will show you the overhead cost per hour rate. Any change that you make anywhere in this calculator, you will see those values automatically be revised. This calculator is replacing our old calculator, which was really just an Excel spreadsheet. So if you have the old spreadsheet and you want to revise and use the new calculator, you'll see the link for show old overhead calculator. If you click on that, that will give you the ability to have your old calculator side by side with the new one. So you'll just need to view the old calculator and replicate the values in the new calculator. If you don't see the show old overhead calculator link, then that means that you don't have the old Excel spreadsheet. Now this calculator works a little bit differently than the other wizards that we have in TurboBid. Uh, it looks the same. The only difference is in the other wizards, it's really important that you go through each step in the wizard, whereas here it's necessarily not required that you're going to have these different expenses. So the back button and the next button, they'll take you through the process, but you're not restricted to using those buttons. You can go in and select any tab to view the contents of that portion of the calculator. The first tab on the side is titled Field Employees. And this is the first tab because in order to calculate your overhead cost per hour rate, you must first select your field employees and then you can select the company's overhead expenses. But in the bottom right corner, to be able to calculate the overhead cost per hour, you have to have field employees in there. Otherwise, there's no hours to divide your cost by. So that's step one. The drop downs for the descriptions. This is going to show you all of the employees that you have in your employee list. So anything in the employee list you're going to see in here. So whatever employees you actually have working out in the field at this point in time, you want to select. So the data that we're going to be using for the field employees, it's going to be obviously the quantity of employees, the job site hours for each employee, the hourly pay rate, and the hourly burden. The hourly pay rate and the hourly burden, those are used in the 
billable rate section. So in the billable rate section, you're able to specify the profit that you want to make on the billable rate. So the billable rate would be, you tell a customer, we'll have to troubleshoot this issue. We're not sure what it's going to involve, but I'm gonna charge you X amount per hour for my employee on the job site. So the billable rate is where you can actually see what amount you should be charging per hour for that employee. And there's four different areas that are used to determine your billable rate. The hourly pay of the employee, the hourly burden, the hourly overhead, and that's what this calculator is doing. It's calculating your hourly overhead rate per hour. You'll notice that our hourly overhead rate per hour of 1314 matches what's in the calculator in the bottom right hand corner. And then you add your profit and then that will give you the billable rate. But if you don't know your burden, if you don't know your overhead, you have no idea how much profit you're making on a billable rate. Uh, I've seen many people say, well, everybody uses $100 an hour in this area. Well, that's fine, but if they don't truly knew, know what makes up that $100, if they don't know their burden cost, if they don't know their overhead, maybe their overhead's very high, maybe it's very top heavy, they could be losing money on the rate they're charging. So this stuff is really, really important from a business standpoint. All right, so just to reiterate, you'll see in your summary at the bottom. It's going to display your monthly overhead cost. It's going to display the monthly job site hours. So in this example, 316 hours. That's coming from the employees that are selected. So up above it's showing the annual hours and down below in the summary it's the combination of all of your employees. So in this instance you're stating that you're going to keep employees busy 316 hours a month. That means that you need to win 316 hours worth of estimates to keep them busy. So that's why this method is so accurate. Now, if you make any changes to your employees, this calculator is automatically going to reflect those changes. So it's important that you keep this up to date. If I were to get rid of this trainee, you just click the trash can symbol and it will remove it from this list. So look at, you've got 316.33 monthly job site hours. So for this $13.14 overhead cost per hour, that's taking your monthly overhead, dividing it, by your monthly job site hours and giving you your overhead cost per hour. So if I included $13.14 in my estimates for my overhead cost per hour, and if I won 316 hours worth of estimates, I will have accounted for my monthly overhead cost of $4,156. But let's take a look. Look how drastically this can change. And you have to keep up with this. Any changes you make in employees, overhead, you have to keep up with this. Otherwise, you will not be making the profit that you think you should. So let's go ahead and delete the trainee. And that went from $13 per hour for your overhead cost to $26. It went from 316 hours of monthly job site hours to 154. So now I'm saying I'm only going to keep employees busy enough for 154 hours worth of work in the field. So because I let go of that trainee, it didn't make my overhead cost any less. I still have all of my overhead expenses. So now... 
instead of dividing my monthly overhead cost by 316 hours, now I'm dividing it by 154 hours. So if I were to get rid of an employee and I continued using the old overhead value, I'm losing money. In this case here, I, I, would, I would lose $13 an hour. Uh, I would lose $1,300 for every 100 hours worth of work. That's a lot of money. So anything that changes, change it. And, and like I said, it's just really cool that you're able to select your manpower from the list, from the drop-down list. And this is the manpower that is in your employee list. So any changes that you make in here, any changes, whether it's to the, the burden group or the actual employee, automatically that will be changed in your overhead calculator. So in using the overhead calculator, step one, select your field employees. Then just go through each category, advertising. Now, in the default setup package, I have added the line items for everything that's in the dropdown. I just thought it would be easier if everything was displayed, and then I added a typical monthly cost. Well, I don't know if it's typical or not, but that's how I set it up. So if you don't want everything to be displayed, you can remove it but then you can also add it back in because you're not removing it from the drop-down list. Uh, you can create your own overhead costs. So if you come in here, you enter in a, a new value. You enter in your monthly costs and just, just keep going through. So whatever your unique costs are, you want to account for them. You can have additional overhead costs displayed and have a zero value. So financial, insurance, and, and so on. So everything that you do, once you do it, actually let's, let's go back here and let's add in $1,000. Now take a look in the bottom right, overhead cost per hour, $13.14. Let's add something in here. And this is cool because you'll be able to see the direct effect that every overhead cost will have in that rate per hour as soon as you enter it. So adding that, that cost there, it jacked up the overhead cost per hour to $16.30. If we remove it, boom, it's back to the $13.14. So you get instant feedback, which is really, really cool. And you'll also notice that the value, once you hit save in the calculator, whatever this value is, will automatically be displayed in the bid price tab, rate per hour from calculator. So that's the calculator itself. Oh, one other thing, uh, vehicles. Every vehicle can have its own unique expenses, whether it's a, a payment, repairs, whatever. So because of that, you want to select the expenses for each vehicle separately. So in this example, I put a Ford 350, but however you want to classify them, you can add a new vehicle. Give it a, a unique name so it's different from the other vehicles that you have created already. And then just go ahead and add your values for that vehicle. So you can have a dozen vehicles, 40 vehicles, whatever the case is, and each one of those you can assign different values. Uh, the next thing, billable rate. Actually, I already went over that. This will allow you to calculate what you should be charging your customers for one hour of your employee's labor. And this will ensure that you're making the correct profit on your employees based upon your cost, not somebody else's, not an average for your area. That's not the way to do business. Calculate it based on your unique costs. 
and the last tab is summary it's just listing each category the monthly cost and the annual cost so I hope you enjoy this calculator I think it's really really cool uh, keep up on it though it, it's a living breathing document so our goal was to make it extremely simple to edit the data and then to automatically have the ability to use that value so in your bid price tab you can use the calculated value or you can choose your own custom value whichever the case is uh, if you have one that you always want to use if you always want to use the calculator select that hit the apply settings to new projects and then every new project that you create will automatically have selected to use the calculated value so that's it I hope you enjoy the new calculator and as always thank you very much and let us know if you need anything